Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're checking out a CZ P01. This is the decocker and I mean, the best bang for your buck you can probably pretty much get for a carry nine millimeter. Alloy frame, so it's nice and light, um, you know, nice, decent capacity, and you could throw more money into these and make them super awesome, but they're just great out of the box. And there's lots of aftermarket um, uh, availability for parts and whatnot. And of course, customizing shops like us. Anyways, starting off, uh, this gun, you know, they come from the factory black, or at least this one did, and uh, we went ahead and matched our friend's truck. Uh, we did this for a good friend of ours. His truck is kind of this blue, this interesting metallic, and it gets darker in different colors. And the tow hooks are this cherry red. So we went ahead and did the trigger cherry red, did the LOK uh, cherry red liner, lock, liner grips as well, and it just kind of sets it off in a very unique, fun way. It's cool to be different different than black or FDE and all that other stuff so anyways uh, as far as upgrades go we have the Dawson fiber optic front sight mated with their rear blacked out Matt did a beautiful job on the porting quad ports absolutely beautiful with Cerakota black barrel it's just a really really great package these quad ports are just you can see from the side so they're aesthetically pleasing and of course they're completely functional so it's just if you don't want to go completely understated with the inline ports on the top of the slide which you can't really see they kind of hide or if you want to go with something a little more um, in between like the um, raptor cut uh, lightning cut slides in the front these are kind of an in-between a medium they're not too aggressive and they're not too um, you know you can still see them so pretty cool what else we docked the uh, front of the slide rails so you don't have those sticking out a little cleaner in appearance LOK uh, golf ball grips the bogeys they call them we have all cajunized internals so we have their uh, their flat trigger or their new kind of curved flat trigger and their race hammer in the back and everything else is done in graphite black as far as controls go she's beautiful this trigger is cool you can when you drop the hammer if you ride the reset the reset is really short so you can actually get it right there and just keep riding it. It's almost like, reminds us of um, those SRT triggers from SIG. You can drop that kit in, it's very like it, much like it. Then of course you can let it all the way out, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, y'all, any questions, comments, concerns? Leave them, you know we'll answer accordingly. Until next time.